My name is Ricardo Moro. I belong to the international network GCAP, a global call for action against uh, poverty. And I would like uh, to speak uh, about uh, the issue of volatility and the influence of uh, the financial market uh, on uh, uh, international and local food prices. Yesterday, we were in a situation in, will, in which we didn't find a really strong volatility. If you look at this uh, graph historically, since the 50s and the 60s, we saw a gradual reduction of international food prices. But something changed around uh, 2006, and we have the second graph, and we see that uh, international prices started moving very, very fast. Um, what happened? Uh, there are four causes that we can list. The first one is the demographic uh, trend. Population is increasing, and of course, there is a stronger demand for food. Second, uh, uh, we started producing biofuel. We did it for environmental reasons, uh, without knowing that the impact, the general impact of biofuel production uh, is not so fantastic, but we started to do that. Uh, that uh, uh, used surfaces for this kind of production, uh, preventing this production to be used for uh, human food. Third, um, an important, a relevant part of uh, population in Latin America and in Asia uh, changed um, his economic condition. Uh, increased uh, income and started to have a better food demand. So uh, that means that we have a stronger demand for food coming from uh, animals like milk, uh, uh, eggs, uh, meat. That meant uh, an increase in production for uh, animal feed. That meant uh, that we used uh, surfaces to produce this kind of, uh, of food, uh, reducing the potential production of uh, human food. The fourth reason is climate change. With climate change, we have uh, more frequent uh, floods and more frequent uh, droughts that are affecting production. These traditional causes to interpret this phenomenon can explain the increase of the prices, but can't explain a so strong reduction and so fast reduction on prices. So we should uh, look for another reason. And if we look at, for another reason, we can uh, have a look to the financial market. In financial market, uh, we assist to a financial deregulation since uh, 1995 to 2005. And what happened? We reduced all the complex of rules that were leaving in the financial market that, will, uh, that uh, had governed financial market for all the years in which we saw the reduction of volatility. Um, traditionally, financial market use a contract that is called future that is a way to protect the real market from volatility. With a future contract, a seller and a buyer take an agreement now uh, to exchange a product in a given time for a, at a given price, that is in one year, for instance. Uh, this um, helped the market to create long-term contracts be, uh, without being vulnerable to uh, volatility uh, coming from uh, uh, emergency situation, local or regional uh, um, situation. But with the deregulation, if yesterday this kind of contract were signed uh, and managed only by actors belonging to the agricultural sector, Today, with the deregulation, these kind of contracts are managed by any kind of financial actor. So any financial actor can sell and buy a future, or let's say with the general terms, can sell or buy a deriv uh, derivative uh, bond. 
uh, the market of derivative bonds, and futures are part of this derivative bond, uh, practically exploded since 2005. And a lot of uh, actors started buying and selling futures that uh, formerly represented food, but that they were not really represented food. They were only bet on the future, and they signed the promise to exchange product, but uh, before the, um, the time of uh, the delivery, the two uh, parts of the contract uh, destroyed the future and simply exchange the difference between the price signed and agreed on the contract and the current price in the market. Uh, what happened then? That uh, the prices of this kind of bond are not uh, yet made by the real market, but of course are made by the exchanges, by the strength of the financial actors that are exchanging future. And uh, if you think uh, that uh, the amount uh, of the derivative market this year, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, 2014, last year, sorry, um, was 10 times the world GDP, you can see how big are the strengths that are competing, that are acting in financial market, managing futures and derivatives. So the dimension of the actors that are exchanging uh, financial derivatives bonds linked to food commodities, it is absolutely bigger than the dimension of the real market uh, actors. And today, who is making the prices of food are not the condition of the real market, but are the condition of financial stock market. There is a last graph that you can see in which you see how the performance and the trend of derivatives, that is the blue line, are absolutely in the same um, dynamic of the real market uh, uh, production uh, and prices. The two lower lines are cereals and food uh, index. The higher line is the line of uh, derivatives. This means that uh, financial market has an unbelievable strength in influences the um, food uh, prices and uh, having volatility means first that volatility is affecting the 800 million undernourished people and second volatility is affecting investment in agriculture no one invests in agriculture if uh, can't understand well which will be the future price, the price of next year. So we can't improve our agriculture if we can't create uh, an, a, a friendly environment for investment. Uh, that is, that if we want a better agriculture tomorrow, we have to manage financial market. We have to do a governance action for financial market.